can you, naming it, make a declarative statement that you denounce, that the president denounces it? I just did. Uh, the president has denounced read this a repeatedly. The, the you, president was asked this. You're you just, making, you're contriving a no, storyline and a narrative. I'm just asking you to put he this said, to rest. I just did. I read you all of the quotes. And if you need quotes. to see them in can writing, I will put them in an email. Hold on. So, Haley, can, can, you, can you right now denounce white supremacy and the group that is found. I just did. The president has denounced white supremacy, the KKK, and hate groups in all forms. He signed a resolution to that effect. Uh, the president just last week, perhaps you all weren't covering it, but just last week. Let's do just one more observation here. If the president didn't know who Proud Boys were and Joe Biden just threw out the name, if he didn't know who they were, why did he denounce them? Why didn't he say, well, I don't know who they are, can you give me a little bit more information about them and then make a decision about it? So this, is, this all remains very puzzling. And for all of you on Twitter who are hammering me for answering that, for asking that question, I don't care because it's a question that needs to be asked. And clearly the president's Republican colleagues a mile away from here are looking for an answer for it too. So stop deflecting, stop okay. blaming the media. I'm tired of it. All right. John, that, John Roberts is tired of it, so we're going to let you go. Thank you, my friend. All right, this is... So what you just heard there was John Roberts of Fox News being visibly frustrated over the fact that Kayleigh McEnany, Donald Trump, no one from the Trump administration regime, whatever you want to call it, is willing to actually put a black and white condemnation of the Proud Boys of white supremacy of far-right ideologies on the table clear as day. They're not willing to do it. Trump wasn't willing and McEnany on his behalf isn't willing. So in that first clip, he's asking that very clearly. Can you just do that? And she won't. Hemming and hawing for, you know, a couple minutes, but no actual answer. And then on Fox itself, when he's on the network doing an interview, a debrief about that, you can see his anger and frustration over the fact that conservatives are mad at him. Fox News viewers and conservatives on Twitter are mad at him for asking the question, for asking the question about whether or not Trump denounces these groups. He's the bad guy. And obviously he's like, I've had enough of it. And he's right. He's 100% right because here's the deal. Trump has not done enough here. All he said in the debate was stand back and stand by. But stand back doesn't mean go home and fully deactivate. What really matters there is the standby. Trump wants the Proud Boys and other groups to be ready to help him launch a coup. I'm not being hyperbolic. He knows he's on pace to lose in November. He knows that. It's not impossible that he can win. Joe Biden can still lose this election. Biden has admitted that. But Trump will not admit that losing an election is possible unless it's rigged against him. So if he does end up losing, he will get his Proud Boys and other people who he's put on standby to use force to hold on to power. He, he will do that. He will at least consider doing that. Maybe people can talk him out of it. But that's his plan right now. And so Trump can't condemn those people because those people are essential to his 11th hour coup to preserve power, to intimidate people at the polls, to steal mail-in ballots. I don't know what he's planning to do, but anything's on the table with Donald Trump. Anything's on the table with Donald Trump. And so regular conservatives are like, like John Roberts, people who maybe are on the right, but, but aren't, you know, anti-democratic coup mongers are like, hey, can you just condemn these awful people, please? And they won't do it. And he's the bad guy, according to Trump supporters. You're damn right. I would be, you know, furious and frustrated, too. One hundred percent. And the Fox News host, she's she's shocked that he would say this. She's shocked that he would would would, you know, express frustration at the fact that conservatives are mad at him for doing this. Look, the people deserve this answer. The basic tenet of journalism is you ask questions that need to be answered either because they have an intrinsic value or because it's what the public needs and wants to know. And the public needs to know if Donald Trump will condemn these groups. And right now, he will not do it. He's not the bad guy. Fox News often has been, but John Roberts in this moment was doing his job. The fact that that makes him the enemy, according to Trump supporters, is exactly why they need to be defeated in November.